Well, really the focus today is the intermediate sink line. We want to show you today what different flies and how effective this intermediate sink is. What I did is I started off the day with the chronomid fishing. Now with an intermediate sink, it bellies the line, the line slowly sinks down and allows the chronomid to come up and then vertical. So it actually covers a horizontal zone and then a vertical zone, which is a nice way to fish. The other nice thing about intermediate sink lines is it's very, very effective to fish shallow water. If you're in around eight feet of water, even four feet, and you want to fish some mayfly nymphs or anything else, damsel flies, anything that sits around in that nice shoal area that's usually around four feet, an intermediate sink line is ideal. You cast it out and get used to doing a count. What I do is I'll cast out, count to about 10 to 15 seconds, allow that line to sink down and slowly bring that fly back. If I hook the bottom, I'll decrease my count. Obviously, if I don't hook the bottom, I'll increase the count, go maybe to 20, maybe to 25 seconds. You want to be down at that six inch mark because that's where the fish are going to be cruising. You want to pick them off as they're cruising through. Oh, gee, there's one. Oh, man, right there. I had almost gotten that fly right up to the top surface. I mean, that it was right there when that guy hit. So always remember, too, is bring that fly right up until it almost hits your rod tip because those fish will chase that fly right to the top. What a great day of fishing. Man, oh man. And like we said, we focused most of the day on the intermediate sink lines. I didn't have to change from anything else. I was able to use this, this line all day. And I went through a variety of fishing techniques with this intermediate sink. I went through a chronomid techniques. I went through mayfly fishing, and I even did a little damsel fishing with it. So an intermediate sink line, pretty well you can use the whole gamut on it. You can use anything you like. There's a fly. Ah, nice little guy. Not too big, but hey, fought good. Let's get him out. There he is. Look at him, real nice and shiny. There he goes. Well, that was a nice little fish. Oh, I had a lot of fun today. You know, Grant couldn't be with us today because he was busy doing other things. But I just wanted to show everybody the importance of an intermediate sink line. If you're going to have three fly lines, make sure you have a dry line, an intermediate sink, and a wet line. If you can afford all three, they're very critical to have. And you can successfully go to any lake and fish, and you're going to catch fish. But when you come to a lake like this, make sure you take care and conserve the waters. Get a great fishing like this. We'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing 